What are the long-term consequences of not treating your hyperparathyroidism? I'm Dr. Bob Aquilarion from Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. Well, the effects of hyperparathyroidism are a lot. Obviously on your bones, it continuously diminishes bone and causes ultimately osteoporosis. It can aggregate in the kidney and turn into stones that can block your kidney system. It can slow down the nerve functionality in your brain and your spine, stiffen up the blood vessels and cause high blood pressure, cause rhythm abnormalities, acid production in the stomach and slowing of motility and movement of your intestines, which will feel terrible, right? And these are the, these are the main known uh, symptoms, right? We also say bones, groans, moans, and stones, right? Achy bones because osteoporosis, uh, stomach groans because of acid issues and uh, constipation, uh, stones, which is kidney stones, terrible when they pass, they're horrid, very painful. And uh, moans, which is the psychic moans. What they meant to say, the, the mnemonic for that was to, uh, that at some point it can cause re a lot of psychological issues, anxiety, depression, and just, you know, just not like feeling yourself. The basic essence of what happens to you is that you age faster. That's what, what it is. Now, if you look at the, the symptoms and their frequency, there's lots of symptoms, right? Fatigue being the number one symptom, right? Your body's running inefficiently, and so you're gonna feel slow. You're gonna feel like you can't do what you know you can do the way you used to be able to do it, right? That you know you can do the task, it just takes a lot more effort to get the same task done. And th that's, that's what makes hyperparathyroidism so tough. It's, it's insidious, it slowly creeps in. And all of a sudden you feel like, oh, I don't know what happened to me. I'm just older. I just can't do what I used to be able to do two years ago, right? And, and then because this is happening mostly in women in their middle ages, they get boxed into, well, this is your hormonal change. This is, you have chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia. You're depressed or you're anxious, all sorts of nonsense. That's not necessarily curable, whereas they may have something totally curable, right? And that's what hurts when you think about this disease. Right? But if you left, leave the disease unchecked, these symptoms grow. In the heart, the PTH itself causes thickening of the muscles of your heart. Right, So that makes the heart function inefficiently and be pro more prone to problems. The, ryth the rhythms of your heart become abnormal. So you can have palpitations, you can have misbeats, you cannot feel good because of that. The blood vessels stiffen up and blood pressure increases. Um, it causes massive muscle weakness, right? So you, your legs, your arms feel weak, but internally your muscles feel weak. So the bladder feels weak and it doesn't squeeze. So you feel like after each time you use the bathroom, you still need to go. So you have to go to the bathroom frequently because you're not able to empty out every time. Intestines slow down, the muscles of the intestines, and you get constipation. The valve muscles above your stomach loosen up because they're not tight and you get acid reflux and these problems progress when the nerve issues start then the nerves slow down they communicate with each other less effectively you're less efficient in how you function and how you think so you have memory loss you have uh, concentration issues and then over time that leads to irritability anxiety and depression right so these symptoms can progress now in terms of the bone loss, that was a very good study done by uh, at the, the folks at Columbia University. It started in 1984, it was published in 2008, so it was over many years. And it looked at uh, about 116 patients who had hyperparathyroidism. They were given the choice of doing surgery or not. The people who did surgery, all of them had a successful surgery, and all of them had an improvement in their bone density, right? All 100% of them that even 15 years after surgery, their bone density was 10% more than it was before the surgery. In the group that did not have surgery, the 11 of the patients in that group died of cardiovascular problems. So the impact on the heart is a lot, as you can see, right? And a lot of them had progression of symptoms, progression of kidney stones, and um, even in the people who didn't have progression of symptoms, they still had 60% of them had worsening osteoporosis. So if you have no symptom, if 
your calcium numbers don't change, if your PTH numbers don't progress and everything's staying steady, 60% of that category of people who are not treating it still have persistent and progressive osteoporosis, right? Now, in terms of quality of life and the impact of life, well, there are studies that show that it impacts the length of time. So, uh, so when you have hyperparathyroidism, your life is shortened because you have this inefficient system that has all sorts of other illnesses that tie into it, including osteoporosis and so on. There's also studies that show that the chance of cancer increases. So patients with prolonged hyperparathyroidism have increased chance of developing cancers, right? So there's many different ways that hyperparathyroidism impacts you, unfortunately. And so if you're young and if you're healthy, if you're robust, and if you feel like you have a long life ahead of you, please treat your hyperparathyroidism. Find someone who takes an interest in, in taking care of patients with hyperparathyroidism, loves taking care of the, those patients, loves the parathyroid surgeries, takes a keen interest, and have them help you out. Um, if you have uncertainty about your physicians, there's more options. Please seek out more, more people who may have more of an interest in, in your disease and in helping you out. They're, they're out there. There are lots of doctors who are interested in it and a lot more than are not, unfortunately. Um, but do seek help. Anyways, if you're looking for clear parathyroid information, please like us, follow us, subscribe to us. And if you have any questions or comments, please, please make your comments so we can help out. Be well.